Well, I'll be hanged. King George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Who's the grim fella? That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. Come forth, if you please. Hear about the King's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? <sighs> Lily living punk! What are you men up to? I am grateful for your geniality, Captain Hornigold. I assumed our reception would be a troubled one. Don't mistake my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say, but of uncertain mind otherwise. Very well put. And it's a fairer shake than I expect you to see from any pirate. But I promise fair treatment to all who hear me out. Only wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. These rascals will show their true colors in time. Calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigold my word that we will be equitable. Won't do you a look of good. Men like him are a blight on His Majesty's reputation and a peculiar cancer afflicting the new world. The King wants them eradicated, above all else. Is this the town square? As close to one as we've ever had. Incredible. It's no cleaner than a dog's kennel. Captain Hornigold, please call your man. Rackham, Vane, the governor's come calling. Bring Burgess and Cochrane as well. Man out, lads, and take this shanty town as if it were your own. Chamberlain, please see that all merchants, masons, and carpenters are rounded up and brought to me this afternoon. We must see about repairing this fortress. We should be confiscating weapons, Governor. Then these pirates a clear, strong message that the King's emissaries are not to be trifled with. I have no wish to stir up animosity here, Commodore. And though well armed, we are outnumbered by a decent margin. Slow persuasion is our best and most efficient weapon. Twaddle, Governor! We use it every goddamn shit, not flying the King's colors. To do otherwise protects a certain weakness in our bearing. Silence, Commodore! I am a goddamn governor here, serving at the King's pleasure. I will make the bloody That's clear, sir. Aye, sir. Your wishes are clear as crystal. Charles Commodore, we're in position. Governor Rogers believes he can make men of these monkeys yet. I do not. Return to your post and await my orders.
Before the 5th of September, in the year of our Lord, 
I pray you take the prudent course, gentlemen, and accept the king's pardon as soon as your hearts allow. For until such time, all of you will be confined in the cell. I am sorry for this. But in lieu of a public trial, this pardon is your best bet. The governor puts it far too brightly, maggots. Take this message home. Accept the king's protection forthwith, or we will raise this town to its foundation and stretch your bloody necks. Peace, Commodore Chamberlain. We are messengers, not executioners. Not yet. Oh, thank you, sir. God save you. Look on this as a stroke of fortune, lads. We should take the King's pardon and salvage what dignity we Please. own. I'll be hanged before I surrender to that bobby. Check your head, Vane. We had here a rare opportunity. A chance to take something base and shape it into a government made and maintained by men of vision. But in two years, we pissed it away. I won't make that mistake again. It's truth he's telling, and you whelps can't handle it. But you, you folks all headed fuddlers, we'll see you at the gallows. You'll all be dead men! Bastards! I need a drink.